Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing Miniant's new Hackberry 18 development board. Okay, this is the box. As you can see here inside, the Hackberry is packed with the anti-static cover. And you'll get the serial cable. Since the Hackberry has got the serial cable serial port in it, you'll get a serial cable with it. Okay, now it's a Hackberry i10 development board as you can see uh, as you can see it's a quite small board the Hackberry has got Alvin A10 ARM Cortex A8 processor in it which is 1.2 GHz normally it will be at 1 GHz by default uh, you can uh, I mean if you want to you can root it or clock it to 1.2 gigahertz which is quite unstable uh, and it has got the 1 gb ddr3 ram inbuilt and 4 gb nand storage also to which there will be a default os that is uh, android ice cream sandwich 4.0 it will be given by the manufacturer itself by default in front panel you can see it's a lot of extensions that's the serial port it's the serial port Uh, it has got the SDHC slot which can fit up to 32 gigabytes of uh, memory card okay that's uh, it's the power switch power switch that's the reset button and the front side we have got a lot of ports it's the uh, the power plug-in port LAN Ethernet port and the HDMI port two USB ports and has got the uh, three other ports that is uh, one is the composite AV port 3.5 mm the other one is the component Y PD PR port and the other one is the third one is the mic in port okay then uh, it has got also the inbuilt Wi-Fi that's the Wi-Fi antenna 802.11 uh, Wi-Fi inbuilt so that's it about the Hackberry and wait one more thing uh, it has also got uh, the button, uh, a little button here as you can see which is uh, quite below the power adapter. This button is for the FEL recovery or firmware update button and one more thing, you will get a power adapter uh, with the Hackberry 8 and itself. That's the power adapter. As you can see. Okay now. Let's boot up the Hackberry A10 with its default OS, that is iPhone Sandwich 4.0. As you can see over here, I connected the power adapter to its plug-in, HDMI cable, USB mouse, and also the USB pen drive. This is the home screen of the Hackberry A10's Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. I'll just check out the settings. In here I'll check out the system I mean about device okay so Android version is 4.0.0 I mean 0 0.4 kernel version is 3.0.8 and there's a build number since I'm recording this with the screencast uh, you know it's probably a little bit slower than it usually operates okay let's check out storage option so as I said earlier uh, Hackberry has got inbuilt 4GB NAND storage in which 1GB is for the OS that is the ice cream sandwich and another 2.3 2.1GB is available as the user partition that's the USB pen drive that is 4GB uh, just check out the display options since the Hackberry has uh, HDMI and AV port and also the YPBPR port there are numerous display outputs that's NTSC in PAL and YPBPR 480 to 1080p as you can see and HDMI 480 to 1080p I'll just switch over to uh, the displays
Alright. Since I have connected uh, the AV cable to the Hackberry, I will switch over to the NTSC mode and change the display from HDMI to AV. Okay, I'll just switch it over back to the 1080p HDMI. Uh, Alright, that's it about the display settings in Hackberry. Uh, now let's see. Now I'll just play a uh, full HD video. Since the Hackberry has got Mali 400 GPU rendering, it can play full HD video without any lagging. Together they cost as much as an entire suburban neighborhood. Can any of these carbon fiber supercars beat the Bugatti Veyron? On this week's very special edition of Tech Event, we head to the runway to find out. This is undisputed clean on fact. The Grand Sport right over there has 16 sodium 7 North American horsepower or 6.8 structure than single press clean about the unboxing and reviewing of the Hackberry A10 development board. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.